How's it going guys? This is Goat coming back at you here with another video. Um, watching the Dodgers game here today and uh, see Bass throwing out a lot of baseball cards on his auction. And um, uh, then I got a Twitter message from uh, Chris, a hot cards. He's the biggest Cooper Cup collector. I'm hopefully second, but <laughs> uh, he messaged me and, and wanted to talk about uh, Carter Young. And uh, if you guys had heard my Carter Young story uh, before, um, if you don't mind sitting through it again, and if you haven't heard it before, then um, this is how it goes. So <clears throat> Carter Young uh, is a SELA kid. Now I'm a teacher and a coach. I coach a lot of different sports. Uh, I teach 7th grade math, and I've taught uh, middle school PE, and, and so um, Carter Young is is a really good kid. Uh, he's a SELA kid. Um, he's going to be a junior here, I guess, next month, uh, and he has a, a middle brother, Malachi, and he's got a, a younger sister, Gabby, and, and uh, another little brother, I believe, um, too. And I've had Gabby in my class. I've had her in FCA. I've had her in in basketball, and have Carter and in, in different things. And I haven't had Malachi in anything. But the whole family is really nice. And um, Carter's an exceptional, uh, not only student but student athlete. He's a really good baseball player. And uh, for the last few years, he's been um, on the USA national team. You know, the 15U national team, 17U national team, the 18U national team. I think I got all that correct. Uh, as a sophomore, he verbally committed to Vanderbilt. And, um, you know, like I say, he's going into his senior year. Um, and so what I had planned to do was collect as many Carter Young cards as possible. And I've gotten the help of YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and, and all this to make this happen. And my plan has always been is when uh, Carter, Carter only does the baseball. So during baseball season next spring, my, my plan is at the games uh, to give, and, and even in the classroom really de depends on how many I have, uh, is to give a card uh, to the people in the stands, to the kids in the stands. And uh, so that way they can... They can know and understand that if you really put your mind to it and your and your heart and your work ethic into th something uh then really anything is possible and um you know that's been this case with this <laughs> with this 17 year old kid and and um you know he's been you know, he's a switch hitter he plays infield and, and he's a catcher and um you know he's he's really good and he's going to go places just you know and his family's going to go places just because they're they're a great family and so anyway i wanted to show off a little bit of this stuff um and this first stuff i this first few cards i have uh, i only have two cards from 2016 elite extra edition uh, is what it's called and i'm not a baseball card collector but i'm a dodgers fan and i collect dodgers cards when people send them to me but um this first one is a, I wish we had better lighting. It was daytime, but I just started thinking about doing this at nighttime. So, oh well, it is what it is, right? Um, this first one here is a four relic out of 199. And there's Carter Young up there on the top. And then here is... Ugh, here is Otto. right there and again that is 2016 um, elite extra edition that was on the 15u team I believe <clears throat> this is the stack of base that I have for 2017 uh, stars and stripes so here's the stack of base I want to say there was like 60 cards or something like that so far in the 2017 Stars and Stripes base. Still not enough. Uh, I'm looking for a whole bunch more. So if you guys are out there and you have some, please let me know. Um, you know, if you want me to buy it from you, I will buy it from you. So, and then uh, the parallels 
of that set. I'm trying to see if any of these. I think these are all just um, the base foil on these. And I've got those sleeved. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of the base foils, the longevity of that set. And then um, I do have, out of 99, one, two, three, four of the 99, uh, the blue foil, I guess I would say. And then I do have one of uh, the gold foil, and that is out of 25 from that set. Um, hits that I have for that set are right here. This is four, four relic tools of the trade. That is out of 199. Do have a couple of autos. So I have um, these three autos of Carter Young, and those are out of 199. And then RPAs, I do have a lot of patch autos of this. This is the red ink out of 199. This is the black background with the gold ink, really cool out of 85 and then these are they have some really cool patches in here so look at this patch this is pretty cool out of 25 another cool patch again out of 25 and then a really cool red and white patch not sure of this Gonna focus great for me or not. There we go. Really cool patch there. And again, that's out of 25. And then these are all um, patch autos. There's five of these, and those are all out of 99. And a lot of this stuff, again, a lot of this stuff people have just been sending me or I went to a couple of card shops and they just give it to me. Uh, they hear the story, which is great because it's going to, it's going to, it's going to be a fun spring. <laughs> and then look at this patch. This is a really awesome part of the tag right here. And that one is three out of six. So that's really cool. And that's what I have for 2017 Baseball Stars and Stripes. And then for 2018, I don't have a lot. Uh, for 2018, I've got five of the base is all. So it'd be cool if I'd get that around uh, 50 to 100. I got five of the base. I've got um, one of the regular foils. And then this is not numbered but it's like a gold foil and yeah it's not numbered neither one of those still cool and then this one is like a red foil and that one is at a 249 and then I've got uh, hits for this tools of the trade piece of the bat there and three relic pieces that is out of 299 I've got uh, a couple of autos from this set, and those are out of $4.99. I've got this auto, that is on card out of $4.99. And then I've got one patch auto from this set. Again, this is the 18U team. And that is out of $2.99. So just a couple of uh, highlights from him. Um, you know, kind of prove, or not really prove. I mean, he's on USA baseball team the last few years. He had to, committed to Vanderbilt as a sophomore. Doesn't really have to prove much. Um, but a little bit of information 
for you guys. Uh, Carter led all hitters during the 2017 Tournament of the Stars with a 538 batting average in seven hits. So this is the Tournament of the Stars, and he led all hitters. Uh, prowess at the plate should come as no surprise, considering he was also one of the top batsmen for the 2016 USA baseball team. This is the 15U national team. He uh, hit 294 and collected the team leading 12 RBIs. So he led the team. He led the USA national team in RBIs. So, which is pretty awesome. Uh, a little bit more information. Let's see what this card says. Well balanced the approach at the dish. Um, looked quite mature for his age. 2017 USA Baseball. 17 U National Team Development Program. He continued uh, to shine at the Tournament of Stars, going three for four, with two of his hits coming on a, in a six-run fifth inning, earning him a spot on the USA 18 U National Team. Now I'm not sure if it's in any of these, uh, but he was the only starting underclassman um, on on that USA team. He was the only he was the only starter that was an underclassman, which is pretty awesome. Um, let's see. This one says, <clears throat> uh, "Youngest member of the 2017 USA Baseball 18U National Team." So he is the youngest player. Again, he was a starter, and he you know he was the youngest player. So there you go. Didn't play like a child during the U18 World Baseball Cup, starting all nine of the games at second base. So he was the start. Like, again, I mean, I can go on and on, right? I mean, you guys have heard me in, in other videos. But he was the youngest youngest player on the 18U national team, and he started every game at second base. It's pretty impressive. I'm talking about USA. Um, he helped turn three double plays in the field at the dish, 294, tied for the lead leader with eight walks. So not only did he lead the team in RBIs, he also is, is patient because he, he tied for the team lead with eight walks. So awesome there. Uh, let's just do a little bit more. Uh, it talks about him being a hard worker. And... That one talks about him leading the team in the 15U Nationals. All right, guys. So, uh, six foot, 160 pounder uh, here on good old Sela, Washington. So, uh, that was my Carter Young uh, PC as of right now. And then the spring, it's going to go way down. Uh, I am going to try to keep some of these things just because, uh, you know. Uh, Obviously, memento and, 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 you know, there's a personal background to it. But, like, I'm probably only going to keep, like, one base card for me and one base card for my son. Uh, all the other base, par base cards and, and parallels and stuff like that are, are hopefully going to go, uh, you know, to, to a lot of these students and, and players and, um, you know, kind of as a memory. So, uh, th thanks so much for listening to me babble <laughs> and go on about this family and this kid. And um, take care, everyone.